Hey, give me my bike. Give Damn. me my bike now. No, take it off the car now. God take damn. It off the car. My boy has a security hat on. Was this his disguise? <laughs> you can leave. You can get out of my wedding. <laughs> what the? F Today, I have a crazy ass video for y'all, bro. <laughs> I could just tell off the thumbnail. The thumbnail is literally glass, like shattered everywhere. And the guy in the thumbnail looks mesmerized, bro, as if he just seen a ghost. Seems like these people tried this shit on the wrong person, man. But with that being said, I'm ready to get into this one. I have a lot of other clips as well. So sit back, relax, and just enjoy this one, man. This one's going to be a good video. So also, real quick, before I press play, if you haven't already, go follow me on Rumble. That's where all my deleted videos will be and any video that doesn't go on the tube will be on rumble so yeah rumble.com slash spirit ent it'll also be in the description and if you're new here make sure you join us if you enjoy the video and let's just get into it man says he caught him stealing his four-wheeler <laughs> hey give me my fucking bike give Damn. me my bike now that's my fucking bike check it out the back now cops are on the way no take it off the Car now! God Take damn! Take it off! The car. Take it off! Take it off now! Oh, now. my boy is pissed off. Take it off now! <laughs> Take it off! Get out the car! Hold no, on, no. wait! I just noticed. Don't oh, wait. What the f is this? Hold on, let me go back. My boy has a security hat on. Was this his disguise? <laughs> Did he really think this shit was gonna be his disguise to not getting caught stealing? A random guy's four wheeler. What? A hey, 500 IQ, bro. If you want to steal somebody's four wheeler, just put a security hat on and act like you're seizing it. Act like you're towing it somewhere. My boy is pissed off, though. He is mad. I'm surprised he didn't punch him in his jaw right there. No! Take it out. Get out the car. Get out the car. Get out the car. Get out. Get out. I don't give a fuck. Get out of the car. Get out. You didn't help him, but you're in the car. All right, bro. Out of the car. I don't give a fuck. Get out now. Get the f out. I, didn't help I don't give a. F I didn't help him. With I don't give a. F get out of the car. Get out of the car now. Get my shit down. Help him get my shit down. Help him get my shit down. Yeah, rate the disguise, bro. Rate the outfit. Is this an? <laughs> On the scale of 1 to 10, what are your chances of getting away with stealing somebody's f***ing four-wheeler dressed up like this, bro? I mean, he low-key does look like a security guard, but... Yeah, my boy, you're caught. That's my f***ing car! Okay, I didn't... Okay, I don't give a f Get it down now. I'm done talking. Just get it down. You do not want me to go back to the fucking car. I'll tell you that much. I didn't know, I didn't. He just sons you, bro. Look at them both, scared as shit. Two little wimps. They probably really thought they would actually get away with this shit, man. But at least cover it. I mean, you have this entire outfit on, the security hat. You have a 70-year-old about to die grandpa with you, who's for some reason thinks sell it, stealing a four-wheeler is what? What the f is this dude gonna do, bro? Ride it. His back will snap in half immediately. But look, both of y'all tried your best to get away with this shit, but y'all didn't think of bringing a cover with you to cover it up at least to make it look like it's not a four-wheeler at least put something on it but y'all decided to just drive it out in the middle of a road just naked bro and didn't expect the owner to be after you. i'm honestly surprised he didn't put his hands on y'all not because that's the smart thing to do it's obviously not but if you've ever had anything stolen from you bro you know the feeling there's nothing worse than knowing that somebody stole something you actually value from you let alone having to catch them bro you have a lot of self-control to not hurt that person after you catch them stealing especially when it's something this major that bro this thing is worth a lot of money i don't care just get it out get it out now yeah, I think that's pretty much it man yeah like i said props to this guy man obviously that's his, his four-wheeler but props to him he handled this shit good because see i hope you guys don't think that i'm wishing for violence on anybody whenever i mention the fact that this shit could have been a lot worse but that's just the reality of the world bro it really is like you have to understand that 
you're not gonna always be lucky when you do some shit like this where you're hurting people stealing from people even if you do it a couple times bro i'm genuinely surprised how you wouldn't have like a guilty conscience just tell you yo we've done this shit a lot man we should probably stop why the fuck are we still stealing people's shit you get what i'm saying because yeah you'll get lucky a few times but there'll be that one time where things might not just go south, but they might go beyond south. And you might find yourself, <laughs> yo, I hope you guys get what I mean, though. But yeah, like I said, man, he was pissed off. You can hear it in his voice, but they're lucky that he wasn't genuinely trying to hurt him because a lot of people would, bro. Anyways, let's move on to our second video, which is a, uh, let me see here. It says a freak out at a wedding by the the guy's mom. Okay. Hold on, before this whole situation spirals, listen, listen, let me ask you this question. I asked you this beforehand. I want you to go down in the comments. Are you going to have a big grand wedding or are you okay with just doing it in a, in a room by yourselves, if that makes sense? Like you and her and whoever needs to be there, not too many people, not a big ass fabulous extremely expensive location let me know in the comments what kind of person are you bro are you gonna be low-key but make it more special to you guys or are you gonna just go off now and flex and everybody and invite everybody and have a big grand wedding i've always thought about that bro i still don't know i told y'all this beforehand bro i'm good with just <laughs> with it just being me and her and whoever needs to be there in a room bro not too not too crazy and that money i'd spend it somewhere else maybe on the house car the trip afterwards uh what's it called the moon honey no no what the <laughs> i said moon <laughs> i mean the honeymoon bro but yeah i never understood people that spend like 500k on a wedding that's insane to me let me know in the comments bro what kind of person are you let me go back a little bit Wow. <laughs> what? Everybody has flaws, so that's why I love them. Yeah. You can leave, yeah. Judy. Like, you don't have flaws. You can leave. Yeah. <laughs> you can get out of my wedding. I'm not leaving. What the that fuck? That dress you're wearing, I'm paid for. Okay. Huh? Uh, let's do uh, this. Get out. I'm not Hold on, let me get this straight. Your son is getting married. You love your son so much that you're not willing to let his bride, uh, I guess, do the vows of flaw, whatever the fuck. You're not letting anybody say he has flaws, right? You care about the wedding so much. You care about your son so much. You love him so much that you dress up like you're going fishing. What is this outfit, bro? Get this out of here man no i don't care if this is mom man, you, she, yo just invite her after the whole thing is over she's gonna be a headache for these two bro this is what i mean when i say i'm good with it just being me and her and whoever needs to be there meaning not everybody deserves to be invited to your wedding bro not everybody deserves to be there in one of the most important i guess moments of your life because some people are envious some people really don't want the best for you some people want to see the entire relationship break apart you never know bro point is some people like this mom right here do not need to be there. Get out. Try it and I'll have you arrested. Well, Tony, get her out of here. This is, right. this is not right. This is not. Don't respect the wedding. Damn. Poor guy, bro. You show respect. You have to your daughter too. Let's just calm down. Let's say, hey, hey, we don't need this. This is this fine. We don't need this. I don't want to hear these flaws about All right. We right. have the flaws right now. Are you kidding? Like an adult. You don't know how to act like an adult right now. Are you kidding? That shit is embarrassing, bro. It's not about you. She's in love with your son. Okay, that's your son. Oh my god, that's embarrassing, bro. Oh, I feel so bad for my guy. That is genuinely embarrassing wow that's probably gonna be the most remembered thing about the entire wedding to be honest with you yeah the ceremony all that shit is gonna be cool but this is gonna be the part where everybody remembers it like for future years to come whenever they talk about this person i'm gonna just call him mr clean right whenever they talk about mr clean's wedding all they're gonna remember is his mom freaking out because he has flaws <laughs> like what oh man <sighs> y'all can let me know what y'all think about that bro that shit was embarrassing to me listen this, this can be hard bro because especially when it's in this case it's your own fucking mom 
right? But when somebody is that toxic and you know them, you know who what kind of person they are, and you have even a little suspicion that they might ruin one of the most, you know, important and memorable events of your life, they don't need to be there, bro. You don't need to feel about, you know, you don't need to feel bad about it because that was an embarrassment. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's pretty much it. I told y'all this video was going to be good, man. I genuinely enjoyed this one. Y'all can let me know what y'all think about all these clips in the comments. Take care of yourselves. Make sure you guys are drinking a lot of fucking water, staying hydrated, especially right now, bro. It is hot outside. But yeah, I'll see you on the next one, man. Peace out.